Hey guys, welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Hopefully quickly. Please quickly. Please! I'm begging you as this Let's Player for this Let's Play to be over very soon. Anyway, hopefully it won't last long. Anyway, I'm Astrath and welcome to this. Oh yes. Oh god. I've been trying to hold this back for quite a while now. Um, yeah. Anyway, Crave Entertainment presents, they went downhill! They made Jake Coon and they made this Alpine Studios in search of higher ground. The Bible game for the Game Boy Advance. Oh god. Okay, so the history between me and this game uh, runs not that far back, but the history between me and Christianity runs a while back. Anyway, so I uh, played through the first level of this game uh, to celebrate 400 videos. Yeah, I know, quite a while ago that was. Um, and it was during the whole thing where I actually done a master rants about uh, religious extremists, about how they try and cram religion down your throat, something that my primary school did, Church of England Primary School, and we had to pray every bloody day, go to church and whatever, and it's like, that's such annoying things to try and put onto a child of a mere like seven or eight years old. Anyway. So, this is the Bible game, a Christian-based sort of quiz, puzzly game for the Game Boy Advance. This game is not good. The reason it's got not good? Well, because the questions are Bible questions, and this is supposed to be for children. How in the world are children supposed to know passages of the Bible? And if they do, they're gonna know probably the more known ones, like... I don't know, the, the, the birth of Jesus, the death of Jesus, how God created the world, you know, Genesis 1-1, whatever. So how are they supposed to know the rest of them? Anyway. Wherefore take it into... unto... hang on. Gotta get myself into reading position. Wherefore take unto you the whole armour of God. Ephesians 6 13. Ha, <laughs> Ephesians. <No. coughs> try and stay, try and keep your atheism away, Master Rathcow, try and keep your atheism away. By the way, I may a few times during this whole LP sort of lash out a little at Christianity, mostly because of the seven years of crap they put me through, so I do apologize. I do not mean it out of malice, it's purely accidental. Anyway. What is the armor what's the armor of God? It protects us from deceivers. But he only had one made. But apparently protects all of us. So, I don't know how that works, but, okay. I don't believe that... R really? D was there actually a passage in the Bible where there was the armor of God? Sort of like he'd turn up for battle and armor gear go with this is Bible! Or whatever, I don't know, this is God. Anyway. What are deceivers? Ah, uh, drug users, politicians, media. Basically anything nowadays that's, well, popular with the younger generation. That's it. I hope by the time this video probably goes up, I'll be about 21 years old, and I'll be way away from that whole uh, young generation crap. Feel like I am now, actually. Anyway. Oh, look at this goober with a bald head. We're gonna give him like a sort of a gruff old man voice. Deceivers are liars that make that cause us to make mistakes. Ah, but you don't know a mistake is gonna be a mistake until you make it. Right? Like, for example, as children. Oh, don't run. You run, you slip over, you hurt yourself, you, know, you bang your head, or you scrape your elbow, your knees. You made the mistake, but you didn't know you were going to make that mistake. <sighs> this armor sounds really cool. Sorry, exclamation mark. This armor sounds really cool! And I love the way they depicted, like, sort of a Roman uh, armor when the whole, like, sort of Roman around thing in the Bible, I think that's quite um, a hilarious thing. Can we see it sometime? You can't see it. You gain it by studying the Bible and following its teachings. So it's invisible. Bit like no, 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 that one is way too easy for me to jab it. I'm not gonna say it, but you knew what I was gonna say. We still want to see it. Well, tough shizza. 
Whoa. Oh, yes! There he is! Run! The Master Deceiver has escaped! Who will save us now? I knew this game was to get a little bit better, because now here comes Beelzebub, Beelzebub himself. Here comes the devil. Using the menu, use the control pad, blah, 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 yes. Right, okay, so use the control pad to highlight the side selection. Press the A button to select, and the B to go back. Let's go. Now we're finally into the game, and you know a game's good when all, the only options you can change are the sound effects and the music. Oh, yes. Anyway, let's start a new game. I believe there are six levels to this game. I completed one in my 400th video special then sort of stopped. I'm aiming to go through all six levels here. Possibly. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, new game. Difficulty. Oh. Ah. Uh, no, no, I'm not going hard. If I go on hard mode, I will be probably dead by the end or brain rot washed. Medium. No. Uh, if, if you've been like a Christian for 30 years, probably go for medium, but I was a Christian for seven years and then I uh, uh, Yeah, and then, then, I, then I learned so let's go for easy mode. We can play as the man the the uh, the girl or the dude The armor of God will look good on me. The armor of God will look on me. It's see-through So you put that armor on then it's see-through and pedos will look at you I thought I'd mention. I'm ready to put on the armor of God. I'm re oh, did you hear how, like, sort of enthusiastically he said the word God? It's like, I'm ready to put on the armor of God. 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 Okay. Um, okay, so I make my choice. Should I choose Chav? <laughs> Come on, he's wearing a baseball cap the wrong way around. You're not Ash Ketchum, mate. Or you. Sort of look like, um, I don't know. Es Esmeralda, but with her hair tied back instead. And a body warmer on. Which means you must be bloody boiling. We're gonna choose Chavman! Let's go, find the go Chavman! Yeah! Oh, he doesn't look like a Chav anymore. Damn it, Chavman! Chav boy! It's like Sack Boy! Only nowhere near as good as Sack Boy. Yeah, we can move our character around. We can also jump. I'm ready to put on the armor of God, but first I gotta do some jumping jacks. There you go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, let's let's get dizzy. I wanna dizzy this guy up! I wanna dizzy him! I wanna make him fall over and then him game over without answering any questions, please. Okay. Let's uh actually do what we need to do. Okay, so the A button allows us to jump, the directional button allows us to move, and the B button, we run! We can do a dash. We press everything. Oh, what's that? Oh, uh, spider. Hello. You think you saw the deceiver that way, did you? Well, thank you very much, very, uh, very esteemed man. Well, you are a deceiver because you're wrong. Ah, oh, I see him. Okay, now, this is supposed to be a demon. Uh, but to me, it looks like Yvetal from Pokemon Y. And there is no way that anyone can tell me otherwise. It looks like bleeding your vatal. Come back here, your vatal. Read the Bible, bitch. Okay. Use control pad, change the red highlight to the desired answer. Okay, press the A button to answer, press the A button to continue. Okay, so, as you can see at the bottom, we have you need three out of five, which means you need to answer three out of the five questions correctly to beat the deceiver. Um, luckily this first question is bloody easy, because we all know this one. If you've ever, if you've ever had any connection with Christianity at all, you know this one. What giant did Seth, did Seth, did David slay with a stone? Uh, it was Goliath, obviously. There you go. Um, who wrote the first epistle to the Corinthians? Paul? Yes! I only knew that because of the uh, scenes we like to see a bit on Motley Week with Frankie Boyle, which was Paul third the pistol to the Corinthians. Dear Corinthians, I've written to you twice now. No reply. I don't know how you do things in Corinth, but from where I'm from, that's a bit rude. Yes, it's one of his jokes that actually wasn't very offensive. 
Anyway, uh, on what day of the week did Jesus first appear to the disciples? Sixth? First. Okay. Obviously, he's fashionably early, right? Yeah. Uh, which disciples were first told of Jesus not being in the tomb any longer? Was it Jude? Jude? Jude and Peter? James and John? Peter and John. I'm going to get James and John. Oh, Peter and John, damn it. Okay, now I've got two right, and this is the last question. I need to get this one right, or I've lost. Where did Jesus teach daily while in Jerusalem? Uh, I don't think it's Herod's Gate. That would be a bit of an odd one. Let's go to the temple. Hey! Three out of five I needed? I got three out of five. I beat your vatal. I get one part of the bullshit key. Oh, yeah, we're back to bullshit keys now, yeah. By the way, that is actually what I named the part for my 400 video special was the bullshit key. So, yeah. It's the only real time I'm going to be swearing in this entire thing is just saying the bullshit key. So, yeah. No more. Right. Let's go. Ooh, a heart. But I don't need it. Get out of my way, spiders. Leave. Leave me alone. I do not like you. Oh. Missed me. Look at me prancing my way towards your vatal. Come back here, you vatal. Talk to the Bible. Out of the way, all I have is a Bible, and what your vatal has is fireballs. We're sort of like really far behind, aren't we? Anyway. Who told the shepherd that Jesus, that the Christ child was in Bethlehem? I, I, I want to say Herod. I want to say Herod. The Christ child was in Bethlehem. Could you please murder him for me? Signed, Herod. Kiss, kiss. LOL, smiley face. I believe it was the angel Gabriel. It was. Yes. Uh, who's the sister of Lazarus? I want to say Mary Magdalene. Nope, Mary. God damn it. I, I thought it was one of those two. That was a trick. Because Mary Magdalene could have been Mary. You never know. Uh, during the creation, what did God call the light? Day? Yes. Genesis 1-5. Okay. What was the first word of the Bible? Hang on. Um, in? Yes! I, I, that was a guess, but I thought, you never put and at the start of a sentence, do you? That was my grammar coming out, not uh, my knowledge of the Bible. So that actually worked quite well for me. I was able to focus on anything else. Who said, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? What? Gee, normally, if Jesus comes up as an answer, or as a possible answer, it's normally right. So I'm going to know Jesus. Yes! That's a little that's a little trick you got to go with this game, is that if Jesus comes up as an answer, it's normally right. So go for it. Um... What was the first miracle Moses performed before Pharaoh? Now, I know this one because it was in the 400 video special. I believe it turned Aaron's rod into a serpent. Twas, yes. Which means that Moses was one evil bugger. I mean, come on, who turned a rod into a serpent? Seriously, you got to be quite badass to do that. I need three out of five, I got five out of... I need three out of six, I got five out of six. I beat your vehicle and got a part of bullshit key. Yes. Bullshit key! Also, I gotta go through. Let me go through. There you go. I don't know why these hallowed corridors, these hallowed halls, have a bunch of bloody spiders in them. And seriously, who's actually looking after this kid anyway? I mean, is there anyone looking after this kid? Nobody? No one at all. While he's getting traumatized by spiders, more spiders than your vatal. Thank you very much. I think I tried to see her that way. Well, thanks very much for your cooperation. By the way, do you have a mint? Okay. Aha, hey, Vatal. Hello. Speak to the Bible, bitch. Okay. Whose face was changed as if it had been the face of an angel before, while before the Sanhedrin? Whose face was changed? Uh, Tim? Steven. Steven. Yes! Okay, this is going to be a difficult one. I need four out of seven, so... 
who is the meditator of the New Testament? I'm going to Jesus because it's an answer. Hey, they see, see what I mean. If Jesus comes up with an answer, it's normally right. Why was Daniel cast in the den of lions? For worshiping idols, for cursing against the king, or for praying to God? I'm going to say it's probably for praying to God. Yeah. Some of these are self-explanatory, as in you can probably see a but the Bible saying that. You got to sort of envision what sort of stuff. Anyway. Which of the following are signs that Jesus said would follow them that believe? If they drink anything deadly, it shall not hurt them. In Jesus' name, they shall they cast out devils, both correct. Let's go for both the correct. Yeah! Sod you, game! Who was John the Baptist? Who put John the Baptist in prison? Herod? Hey! I know it was the king, but I didn't know he put people in prison. He was judge as well? By what is every tree known? I want to say it's fruit. Yes! I seem to be doing quite well here. I'm, sh I'm sort of scared of myself. That's an easy one, that is. Uh, from what was the crown plaited that the soldiers placed on Jesus' head? It was plaited with thorns. Yes. Seven out of seven! Ooh, I gained a bonus life! And a part of the bullshit key! This is going too well. Um, I, yeah, this is, this is going too well. I don't like how well this is going. Not, not because, like, he's probably going to fall back on me later as, like, I'm going to get, like, you need, like, 10 out of 10, and you get 1 out of 10. Oi. Hello. No. Um, what I mean is, people are going to think that, like, oh, he's, like, some sort of, like, supreme, like, sort of religious being. It's like, no, I, I'm really not. I'm very against, I'm not really against, but I'm very anti-religion to a point. Um, but apparently I seem to know this. Hi, Yvetel. Come back here. Read the Bible. Okay. Jesus' first recorded miracle was in response to whose request? Hmm. Mary, his mother? Joseph or Peter? Well, Probably the request of Pete, Joseph would be, can I join Fathers for Justice? So I'm going to go Joseph. No, Mary. Of course it'd be Mary, wouldn't it? It'd be like, blah, 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 mother's wishes. Honor thy father and thy mother, remember. And Joseph wasn't his father, because God, God did the old, you know. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, in the parable of the prodigal son, on what did the prodigal son spend his substance? Uh, cattle. No, righteous living. I, I think I'm going to lose this one. Who wrote the Song of Solomon? It was Solomon. He he wrote he sung it about he sang it about himself. What an ego trip. Seriously. Okay. To whom was the Virgin Mary espoused? Joseph. Yes. Espoused means married to, sort of thing. So actually, sort of. Technically, didn't that mean that Mary committed adultery or something like that? You know what I mean? Poor Joseph, he got so much shit in the Bible. Anyway. For what was Samson remembered? Uh, having long hair? Because of his strength, so yeah. If he lost his hair, he would lose his power. So I should come back here, actually. In the parable of the ten virgins, how many virgins were foolish? Five of them, if I believe. Yes. See, nowadays, it'd be all ten of them. They'd all be foolish and be pregnant at this point. Anyway, we got four in a row and beat your vehicle and got another part of the bullshit key. Yeah. We're nearly at the end of level one. Yay. So what's going to open now? That is going to open. I hate these bloody cutscenes. It's like, come on. Can't I? I can't actually skip them. Please, can I skip them? Please. Good God. Anyway. Right, so let's keep going. Avoiding all the spiders because they're slow as crud. Going through. Coming through. Beep, beep, out of my way. I'm religious. 
Let's go this way now. No, let's go down then. Can anybody help me with my predicament? Hello. Thank you very much. Now shut up in future. I ask for your help. Where's your, where's your Vatal? Oh, he's right in here, isn't he? Ow! In the stomach! Your Vatal just jukes me! Read the Bible, bitch! Need three out of six. Seems easy enough. To what city was Saul travelling when the Lord appeared to him? Let's go Damascus. It's the only one I actually remember. Yes! I don't know the other two, so just guess. For as in blank all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Uh, I'm going to go for... Uh, for as in... It's going to probably be Adam or man. I'm going to say man. Damn it. Oh, yes, I just said it. God damn it. Yes. Take that. Okay. How is that even a swear word? Seriously, it's not. Anyway, who shall come in the who shall come in the clouds with great power and glory? Son of man? Yes. Quite easy one there. What happened to Sapphira after she realised that her lie to God was known? I believe she fell down and died. Yes. What a drama queen. Okay. Uh, to whom did the resurrected Jesus first appear? Was it Peter? Oh, Mary Magdalene gets all the fun. What about Peter? What was Paul's office in the church? Uh, Apostle? Yes. There you go. Beat your vehicle and got the final bit of the bullshit key. We have the key. The key of bullshit. <laughs> it actually is. There you go. We completed quest one. Received the shoes of preparation with a score of 23. Yeah! Shoes! Yay! Loading! Loading on a GBA game? Come on! Anyway guys, I'm gonna go for a break here, but the next episode let's play the Bible game. As you can see here, we're in level 2. I'll see you then.